meet the auto robot this cute little robot is great for your kids to play with and learn robotics and coding in very simple way this robot is very versatile and has different types of movements it can move forward backward left right and much more it also has sounds and gestures and the best part is that you can program it using arduino ide and also with block coding which is very easy so let's dive in to learn how to make this robot with your kids first thing you need is the auto robot body parts which contains head body legs and feet next take four sg90 servo motors now we have to move servo motor shaft angle to its center position for that take arduino nano and mount it on the nano expansion board then connect the four servo motors in pin 2 3 4 and 5 orange colored cable is for signal red is for power and brown is for ground so connect the header pin for orange colored cable to digital pin red color to 5 volt and brown color to ground after that connect arduino nano to your computer and upload the auto center code it will automatically bring the motor shaft to its center position The auto center code is given in the video description. After that, disconnect all the servo motors. Next, take the body of the robot and mount two servo motors in these locations using screws. Now we have to connect the foot. For that, take the cross type servo motor arm and cut exactly over the sixth hole from the center in longest side and between second and third hole from the opposite side. After that, place the arm in the leg as shown and mount it on the servo motor. and then fix it using screw
Next, to prepare feet, take small arm and place in the shaft. Then mount the motor in the robot feet. Then we have to mount the feet into the leg. For that first pass the servo motor cable and then push the feet into the leg. After that, fix it using screw. Now it's time to add brain of this robot. Take Arduino Nano with its expansion board. Now connect the left leg servo motor to pin 2, right leg servo motor to pin 3, left foot servo motor to pin 4 and right foot servo motor to pin 5. Next take ultrasonic distance sensor and connect it with the Arduino shield using jumper cables. Connect VCC to 5V, ground to ground, trigger pin to Arduino pin 8 and echo pin to Arduino pin 9. Now it's time for the buzzer. Connect positive of the buzzer to Arduino pin 13 and negative of the buzzer to ground. Next take battery and mount it on the battery module and connect ground of the battery module to ground of the Arduino expansion board. Connect 5 volt pin of the battery module to switch and then Connect switch to any 5V pin of the Arduino expansion board. Now take head of the robot and first insert the ultrasonic distance sensor. After that place the Arduino expansion board and align it with the mounting holes and then fix it using the mounting screws. Next place the battery module and fix it using screws.
Now take the buzzer and push it to its mounting hole to fix it. After that we have to attach a 3D printed part to extend the switch length and then mount the switch into its mounting hole by gently pushing it into its place. Now the hardware part is complete. Just push the head to the body to fix it. Now the robot is ready to be programmed. For programming you will need to download and install driver for the USB driver chip so that your board can be detected. Link for the driver is given in the video description. Open that link and you will land in this page. Scroll down and download this ch341ser.exe and install it. Next you will need programmer. You can program it using block programming by Blockly or using Arduino IDE. Let's first see how to use Blockly which is very easy. First you have to install the Blockly software. For that open the link which is given in the video description. Then scroll down and download the software according to your operating system and install it. After installing, open the Blockly software and you will see this interface. Now using this interface is very easy. First click structure and then click the block having setup and loop. Here note that block which we place in the setup part will execute first and only once. And the block which are placed in loop part will execute repeatedly after the setup part. Next go to timing and click wait block and drag the block into the setup part like this then change the value to 5. This block will stop everything and wait for 5 seconds. Next click robot then legs and then biped block and drag it below the wait block. This block is used to configure the pins of the servo motors and buzzer. Next drag the home block to bring all the servo motor into its home position. Now you can drag different blocks to achieve different actions and movements. To move forward drag move block. Here you can select direction and speed. Let's move it forward in normal speed. Now let's add dance block to make it dance. Select type of dance, speed and size. You can also repeat the movements using repeat block. You can also add different gestures using gestures block. And you can also play tone using buzzer block. Now to upload the code to the robot. First make sure that robot battery switch is off. Next connect the robot to your computer using the mini USB cable. Next in the software select the board. Here we have Arduino Nano Old. So we have to select Nano Old. 
Next, select the USB and hit the upload button. After successful upload, disconnect the USB cable and press the battery button to make it on. And you will see the robot acts according to the code. In this way, you can make your own unique robot and learn about robotics and coding. Now let's make it reactive using the ultrasonic sensor. According to the code, if we put anything too close to the robot, the robot will move backward and shake left leg. see the robot acts according to the code. Now let's see how to program it using Arduino IDE. For that in Arduino IDE open library manager and search for auto DIY and install the auto DIY lib library. This library comes with various example sketch from which you can learn how to code for the robot. Let's take the auto avoid example sketch. This sketch will make the robot move in forward direction until some object comes near the ultrasonic sensor. Now to upload it, first switch off the robot battery and connect the robot to computer using mini USB cable. After that in Arduino IDE, go to tools then select Arduino nano board. Correct port and correct processor and then click the upload button. Robot is working as expected. In this way, you can upload your code using Arduino IDE. Using both the programming methods, you and your kids can make robot to do various movements and learn robotics and coding. If you like this video, then give this video a like and subscribe to this channel because in upcoming videos, we will control this robot using mobile app and add touch responses. If you have any doubts, then feel free to ask in the comment section. We will help you out. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Meet you in the next video.